Greetings. Oh, thank you for coming, Grindel. Nice to have you. you see, if, uh, so, uh, how are you? I am very well. And yourself? Uh, actually, good. I think good. good. And this one is really good. Um, so, the specific question is, I just spoke to, to people and to someone, and um, we, we know that there, there are works in the world about uh, controlling minds using electromagnetic radiations. Yeah, yeah. But I was thinking that they're pretty primitive, like maybe mostly like dumb, dumbing down people, but... Uh, there is a possible possibility that it's actually more advanced and there is some uh, mind control going through the towers by um, uh, some sort of microwave millimeter waves 5g waves that um, actually convey some information to people is it happening yeah. do you know any detail yes all right first of all yes the first the first wave of their technology would tend to cause people to have more headaches, to be dumbed down, to be um, more uh, able to be manipulated, not wanting to make decisions, that kind of thing. However, the technology has come a long way since then. Now the technology is to just lead them with certain thoughts. This is a more um, subliminal way of doing things. They're working on subliminal um, control so that if they send out a, a subliminal message about uh, whatever, it can actually be identified by the brain or 90% of the brains to be uh, something that they need to uh, do or look into or act on. Now, there are certain people that are not affected by any of this technology. They just aren't. They don't have the right frequencies. They're in a different uh, a category, if you will than those that can receive it. The thing is, most of the, thing, most of the people that can receive it are in the higher intelligent ranges. And that is what they want. They want to have them be the examples of certain behaviors so that people will look up to them and say, oh, well, they're very educated, they're very smart. We should actually listen to what they have to say. Uh, we should probably follow in, in their footsteps, but they'll give it more thought when the elite of, the, of society has these kinds of thoughts. And let me give you an example. Money is good. Make money. Money is your savior. Money is the only thing that can help you money, they have many, many different uh, subliminal topics about money. That's why it has become all important to every nation. It is what they want people to know. We, are, we control the money, but mo you need to have money and spend it here and, and keep, uh, they don't say it, it's not the, the way that it is done. Uh, they don't say spend it because we want to make money, but they say you must spend to make the economy better. And even some of your leaders will say that. Spend your money to make the economy greater. But this was all come down through subliminal messages. That was never the case in the past. It was never necessary to spend money to keep society going in the past. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In fact, many were misers and kept all their money to themselves. And it was fine because that's not what ran society. People were helpful. People did this, that, and the other thing to keep society moving forward. But now it's all about money. 
everything is money to keep society moving forward. If you don't have money, you are not part of, of, of a positive society. They look down on you. So therefore, that is one of the great subliminal messages that has been uh, very successful with the world. Another one is that um, prejudice is okay. Some forms of prejudice are okay. And even though prejudice has supposedly gone down, it will rise back up again. Because people do not like, the, the subliminal message is they're different. You, they are not like you. They are different. You must fear people that are not like you because you don't know what they're going to do. You don't know what they're going to, and, and this subliminal message is going out now and will overcome and cause a lot of difficulty in the future. Once again, it's like history repeating itself. It'll go back into that prejudicial kind of thought process. It'll take a while, but there, it's already starting to happen with the Jewish people. Look at all the gunmen that are going into synagogues and shooting people. Do you got that? Yep. Mm -hmm. Even though they're saying, oh, we're not prejudiced anymore. They're singling out certain groups of people and destroy, trying to destroy them already. Even though they say they're not prejudiced anymore, they still are. Otherwise, they wouldn't be trying to kill people. Let me ask you a couple more questions. So, uh, I heard that there is also individual uh, control of individual people through through the waves. Somehow they what get kind a, of people? individual. Somehow they get a lock on a person, and then they can uh, can control individual people through some sort of uh, artificial intelligence. Let me tell you how that happens. They have put out these different waves into the air. Um, they are monitoring how people react to them, all right? And plus they have their subliminal messages. There are certain peoples in your population that react differently when these waves started than before. These are the people they single out because they can control those people. They know what waves control those kind of people or those people, and they can actually use individuals in that way to do their bidding in some ways. Now, there are some people that are very moral, and some people are very, or, uh, they have high moral standards, and will not, the, even though these thoughts come to them, they will turn them away, at least for a while. Uh, but they will eventually give in to some of this thought process. But those that have low moral standards will pick up on it right away and start doing what they are intending them for them to do. I do not know what they are having individuals do, but I do know that's how they hone in on them through the different kinds of waves. And they, they know they have a, they have, um, a, a, it bounces back to them when someone or something is, uh, changes when that wave hits them. So that bounces back to them. They have a way to do that. It's like a radar thing. So what's their agenda? What, what, what would they want individuals to do? Of course, world domination. They... The world is not being dominated by one group. You may think the cabal is in charge. You may think the Illuminati is in charge. There's different factions fighting one another. But the way to get um, total control would be through mind control. And so one of these particular groups is using it. So you can tell which one? I think it's the cabal. 
Uh, I heard in Russia there is a lot of mind control through the waves. Would it be the same group or they would have a separate? Yes, it would be the same group, but they're all starting to play the game. They're all starting to have their own waves. There's the 5G, there's the 4G, there's the 3G, there's microwaves, there's, um, there's mind waves, there's, every, there's electromagnetic manipulation. So they have all these different ways to use. The most efficient one, though, is the most re recent one, is a, an actual pulse wave. It's, it comes in, it, it hits the brain, and the brain actually responds to that. It, and they can tell if it's a positive or a negative. It can, they can tell if that pulse is um, uh, is something that they would be interested in. They can tell if it's something that they would turn away. Uh, and so they target the certain individuals with pulse waves. Do they have to be close or is it just a No, people? they don't have to be close. They can be anywhere in the world, but they're choosing highly intellectual people to for these different experiments right now to see how far they will go in agreement with what the messages that they are sending them. And at, according to what I understand from where I am in the Israeli government, they are, they've discussed these different things. They're about 60% accurate. That's not very high with individuals. But 60%, that's getting better. They're getting, it was down at first, the first pulse was about 34% accurate. Now they're up to about 60. So I heard there is an artificial intelligence. So every person gets individualized uh, voice to talk to them. And this voice would uh, react to their thoughts and their actions and would give them advice. Sometimes, yes, that's, a, that's accurate. However, there are some people that are protected and those pulse waves don't reach them. They're, they are the, some of the more enlightened people, those that send out energy instead of receive it. Those people that are uh, enlightened, in a sense, are sending energy out from themselves. And when these pulses come, they don't absorb into that because they're they're pushing out energy and not receiving it. Okay, so for the for the ones who are affected, what what should they do? They should work on getting rid of negativity within their system because this will push this out. Remember, enlightenment pushes things out. And if you clear your system of negativity, that it doesn't, it's like uh, it bounces off a little easier. So the thing is, when you become eventually enlightened, nothing will get into you because you're pushing energy out. Your people will be feeling your energy. People will be feeling your light because you'll be more like God as an energy. But if you are still if you are still um, very third dimensional in every way, that you're receiving uh, things from all around you and you're believing it. Comments, uh, words, people fighting and things are very common to third dimensional people. And that is bringing things in. And so these waves will bring things in very easy with, a high intelligent third dimensional people who are not enlightened. Got it. Uh, so um, how do the organizers of that, how do they protect themselves? Oh, they, they're in, a, they wear barriers. Uh, they have implants where those, uh, the areas of the brain uh, are most affected. They, they have two implants, one at each temple, that will protect them from all these waves. 
<laughs> so we cannot get uh, any of those protectors. Um, no. I mean, where, the, how about, one, the thing is, though, the, there are some that wear them at the temples and the other ones wear them at the back, at the back, uh, the same spot, just in the back. It works just as well wherever you put them, but you need two of them because it needs to protect the brain. It puts a shield around the brain. One would only partially shield the brain. You need the both chips to get full protection of the brain. Yeah, I, I, I bought a silver threaded uh, bed sheet and I guess we can buy fabric and make hats out of that. Yes. <laughs> would it work? It actually would, to some extent, work. You'd probably, let me see what the uh, percentage is. It would work if up to about 82%. Oh, sounds good. All right, I'm starting the fabric of uh, conductive heads. The thing is, 82% is good. If they can only get in that 18%, that's not going to be enough to get a control of the mind. Sounds cool. Now, uh, when I'm um, plugging into Facebook, like when I just open the page, I get a really nice feeling in the heart. It's like happiness and love. Is it because my friends are so good or is it something plugged in into Facebook? I don't understand. It is something plugged into Facebook. They are manipulating people with these kinds of waves. They are, they are um, actually a part of the program. But uh, I mean, the screen is doesn't con 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 conduct any waves. It's like just pixels, and the pixels don't oscillate with any special but frequency. The wave comes through through the pixelation because they have it. You do not realize how advanced your government is. Your government is a hundred years more advanced than you think it is, because they. The secret space program is trading with people from all over the galaxies. They go out three different galaxies and trade. That is how much energy that they can uh, conduct and control. They have a great deal of energy control and a great deal of energy to control. So you do not overlook all the secret space programs. The Russian one, the China, Chinese one is just as strong as the United States one. The Japanese one, the Australian one, the French one, the German one, the English one, the Canadian one. They all have secret space programs, not all the same, uh, not all the same advancement, but <laughs> they're all more advanced than uh, you think. Ah. Israel has their own secret space program. Iran, Iraq, Palestine, Turkey, Egypt, all of them have their own version of it. <laughs> Thank you. Are there any other messages um, which uh, need to, I need to hear? Well, just this, keep going forward. You are not being controlled. You are being protected by some other beings. There are certain beings on this planet that are protected by Gurkvik Nir, um, Ashtar Command, Ar Orion Council, Arcturian Council, Council, Council of Wonders, there are certain areas that they, they have taken on a few thousand people each that they are protecting. Um, I'm grateful for that. Uh, my next question is about um, Kabbalistic, Kabbalistic Tree of Life. Yeah. Is, it's also called Sefirot. Uh, are you qualified to answer, or should I invite uh, Maharal? Well, it depends on the question. I know a little bit, but not much. Basically, I'm trying to figure out how it 
plugs into the DNA or how does DNA use that? Oh, I see what you're saying. You think it has a direct correlation to the way yeah. DNA is set up yep. uh, with the uh, chromosomes, etc. It uh -huh. does look a little bit like a helix. It does look a little bit like a plan for uh, life. Mm -hmm. it, it does look that way, yes. And it does have some correlations, but it doesn't have all the information. It has basic information. That's, uh, but you are, you, which many, much of it already you know. But the thing is, with the tree of life, this is how it came down from the original uh, beginning of life uh, from uh, God, if you will, from the higher spirits, but it's changed since then. Notice the, the tree of life uh, will now, if you were to see it now, the way it is, would look much more like a strand of DNA. This looks a little like one, but there are many empty, empty spaces and many places where there are gaps. And those gaps are, uh, are showing you that in, there was an evolution. This is the basics of it. Yeah. I see, uh-huh. Thank you. So yes, there is a correlation. Yes. Thank you. But I don't know all the, I don't, I didn't study it, so I don't, I couldn't give you all those facts. Um, thank you very much. It was very helpful. Uh, do you mind inviting Maharal of Prague? Maharal? Maharal, uh-huh. How do you spell that? M-A-H-A-R-A-L. Maharal. 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 The last R-L. M-A-H-A-R-A-L. Maharal. Okay. Got it. Because I want to say it right because otherwise you're going to get somebody else. One moment. Yeah. Maharal. Oh, he's been here before? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. One moment. Did he, did he make a golem or something? Uh-huh. Yeah, I know who you are. Yeah, yeah. That guy, yeah. All right. Got it. Thank you, Mike. Have a great day. You too. I'll get me out of here. Yep, 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 yep.